Hello and welcome to another week of energy readings. The week we're starting off this week on September the 11th. So let's see what the, win, what the, what the week brings for all of us. Um, before we go into the individual star signs, we're just going to have a look at the overall energy of this week. You probably noticed, or many people probably noticed, that last week was um, somewhat difficult at times. Um, this week is all about healing your heart. It's all about letting go of stuff and also allow for being open-minded, allow mystery and magic into your world. Um, obviously, what you watching this, you're all, you're all spiritual people. Um, this week, being spiritual comes in handy. Um, see things from a higher point of view. Remember that nothing happens um, out of coincidence. Everything is meant to happen for a reason. That doesn't mean you have to explore all reasons. Just, just go with the flow, trust it. And, um, and should this week be heavy for you, allow yourself to heal your heart. Remember, tears are sacred medicine. Cry it out. Let it all go. So that's the overall energy for the week. And now we're going into Virgo. So for Virgo people this week, it's important to remember that you deserve to be loved and know that you are worthy of love. So this is a week where your self-esteem shouldn't suffer at all and where you remember who you are, what you're capable of and that when people talk down on you, they shouldn't be in your life really. So that's just, that's just um, Virgo going into Libra. Already I can see a little pattern emerging here um, because this too for the Libra is about understanding your self-worth. So you have to remember this week how important you are. It's quite important. Forget about the rain. It's gonna, if it's going to rain, it's going to rain. Mm -hmm. um, so remember how important you are this week but also make sure that the people you are with are not people that are negative um, at all. So make sure your territory is safe and remember you are important. Right? Going into Scorpio. Right. So Scorpio people, it's really important this week to be how can I phrase this better? Yes. To be sure-footed um, on the inclines of life. So no matter how difficult things get, make sure you make sure you know your stuff, uh, follow your convictions, and and stay strong. Uh, no matter what this week brings for you, um, I also can see that there will be a lot of uh, light-heartedness in the week. So it's not all going to be bad. But um, whatever throw life throws at you this week. Make sure you are uh, you are you are strong-footed and you and you uh, remain within your convictions. Okay, Sagittarius. For Sagittarius this week, it's important to um, not chase anything. Um, you need a bit of space this week, actually. You need, you need some time on your own or with, uh, with a few people that you really love and that love you uh, well. And um, so this week, don't worry, things will come to you, you will be fine. Um, and, but make sure that you're not with large crowds this week, it's not going to be a good idea. Okay? That's Sagittarius going into Capricorn. So for Capricorns this week, it is um, a good week to reflect on stuff. And um, that doesn't mean you have to sort of, you know, um, do or die kind of scenarios where you have to make big decisions. 
Um, but it is important to uh, consider this week, you know, where is your life going? How are you overall feeling about where you're heading at this point in time? And acknowledge um, how easy it is for you to adapt to situations. Right? So that's for the Capricorn, and um, I'm going for shelter and see you in 30 seconds. Here we go again, <laughs> a little bit of the rain. Um, going and moving to uh, Aquarius now. Aquarius this week are quite protected. Um, you have loads of guides around you, so pay attention to uh, your dreams. Um, should you meditate, this is a really good week for it. If you um, have time to sit somewhere and be and be still, that's all very good to hear your your uh, your guides. And um, this will be a week where um, should there be difficulties. You're not going to be struggling so much because you have the goat and the analogy is that it hangs on two feet on um, on a hill and doesn't fall. So you're quite strong footed uh, this, this week which is a good thing. But the most important thing is that you have loads of guides around you and that's, that means that there will be loads of messages for you if you manage to listen. Right? Okay. There was Aquarius going into Pisces. Very straightforward for the Pisces. Um, no matter what life brings, the only option you have, we have, because I'm a Pisces, um, is to keep going. Just keep going. Doesn't matter if the week feels difficult or heavy. Just keep going. And um, therefore, remember to not look back. You're not going that way. It's important to at least allow conceptually to let things go. And then again, when you are recognizing and um, acknowledging that, that, that the only way is forward, you will be in charge of your life again, which is a really good thing. So not too much for the Pisces, but um, still positive going into Aries. Very similar uh, to um, to the Pisces, the Aries are this week. <coughs> it's sort of the idea is this week to breathe with the high and the lows. Stay calm, no matter what happens. Stay calm, and this calmness, you being a little more, a little more detached from any drama or anything that sort of feels difficult this week, will allow you um, to be in charge of your life again and 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 make decisions based on on you being detached and see it for what it is. So don't let people know you this week and, and watch your breathing. That's really, really important. Okey-doke, going into Taurus. Tauruses may be in conflict with themselves this week. Um, so there is this softer side of you that um, you should really live and then there is a side of you where you are intensely strong this week and you're not taking any crap from anybody um, and your job is it this week to reconcile the two and come up with a version without having to adapt to situations that is livable for you. Um, usually softness is usually the better option because aggression attracts aggression um, you know so it's not a good idea to be um, forceful or argumentative because all you attract is other arguments um, and you can make decisions and be um, strong by being in your calmness so that's for Tauruses going into Gemini
for Gemini people, you are going through changes and these changes need to happen. So you have to be open for um, whatever life brings for you this week. Um, there could also be um, childhood stuff coming up, past life stuff coming up, things that you don't necessarily fully understand. It's not always important to fully understand what's happening. It's just important for you to understand that these changes are healing for you and will allow you to, um, after they have been cleansed, for you to feel better. Um, it would be or is a good idea this week to be um, around music. Uh, if you play an instrument, play it more. Um, if you like listening to music, so the music is, is going to be your, your escape this week, but also your muse. So um, it's going to be really important for you. And remember, you are um, you have the otter here, which is the builder of the builder of bridges. So it's important for you to, um, as you progress in life, and as you sort of you know stay away from people this week and, and listen to your music, um, to not burn bridges. It's not a good week to really make decisions. This is a week to um, not sit it out. It'll probably be it's probably the, the wrong the wrong way to explaining it, but um, to be slightly detached from things. And, 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 and recharge your batteries by listening to music. Um, and remember that the changes you're going through are changes that need to happen for you. Okie doke. Cancer. For the Cancerians this week is important to find unity. Being all over the place won't help you. And that's not to say that you can't explore uh, different things, but if you are in party mode, for instance, if you go like, oh, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this and this is coming my way, it might just be too much and you actually don't see the bigger picture when you go for everything that presents itself because you think you have this, I don't know, maybe new freedom kind of thing in your life. Um, it's also a good, it is a good week to be renewed and transformed, but you have to first shed your skin and let, let stuff go that harmed you and that hurt you before you can be fully going for, for new things. So again, uh, being reflective um, is a really, really positive thing even though it feels like you're being held back, you're not being held back. You, you create your, your, your reality and you move as fast or as slow as you want. Um, and all the guides are saying is, is to move consciously and not too fast. And that's, and that's um, Cancerians. And now we're going for the last star sign um, of the week, which is Leo. Okay, for the Leo people this week, it's really important to make your home your home. It's really important to feel comfortable and feel great in the place that, uh, where, where you live and where you're living. Really, really important to make peace with, with the situation you're in. And remember, if it is a, situ a situation where you're not happy, um, then remember it's only temporary. Something new will come. Uh, what is important this week is to listen carefully to what people say and not every offer you get this week is serious. Uh, and what that means is that people uh, probably have good ideas about what you should be doing and advice from their point of view, um, but they don't really, they're not you. So it's, it's important not to, not to fall for things just because someone suggests them. Always trust your intuition um, for that, but this week be happy in your home. Allow yourself to make this, you know, you know, by just putting putting flowers down is perfect. It's a, it's a start, right? And that's um, that's Leo. That's all we have for this week. See you in a week.